Weeks ago, fire forced 100 elderly residents out of their high-rise in Luzerne County. They were helped by a group of volunteer firefighters from several departments. Those rescuers were honored tonight. Newswatch 16's Jennifer Barrasso was there. Jen. Scott, the Duryea Borough Council recognized nine volunteer firefighters for saving people at the Frank Cross and Towers back in January. One firefighter said the smoke was nearly up to his neck, and it was almost impossible to see. It could have uh, been a great tragedy as well as life lost. These volunteer firefighters from Excelsior, Germania and Avoca were honored for their heroism. When flames broke out of the Frank Cross and Towers in Duryea last month, nearly 100 elderly residents were inside. The firefighters helped rescue people stuck on the second floor. These firemen, their heroic effort of saving seven people in a smoke-filled hallway that were trapped in their rooms. Brian Leffler of the Avoca Fire Department remembers knocking down a door to get a woman out. Just thick black smoke banked to the floor next to no visibility at all. Um, so you're basically crawling down the hallway just working the doors to try to get the folks out. Just because um, their age and some health issues, we would maybe cover their mouth with a towel or, and get them down as low as we could. Captain Joe Perea with the Germania Hose Company helped a group get to safety. The smoke was filling the hallway as they were standing there, so basically I escorted them down the hallway into a, into a stairwell and got them out. That's what we do. We train and... I don't think we were doing anything heroic. We just, that's what we do. So I, myself as a hero, no. No one was hurt in that fire. And Scott, the Duryea Borough Manager, tells me it's been years since heroism awards have been awarded. Jennifer Barrasso, Newswatch 16, live in the newsroom. Thank you, Jen.